Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Allentown, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are in Allentown, Pennsylvania is to check out the Second and Charles. Been a little while since I've actually been inside a Second and Charles. The last time I was inside one of these stores, I found a ton of amazing horror Blu-rays and DVDs. They actually brought a whole bunch of stuff out from the back. It was pretty amazing. One of the greatest hauls I've probably ever had in my entire life. That was a different second in Charles. I don't know if that's gonna happen at this one. Probably not. I'm thinking today I'm just gonna pick up some things I actually need for, for my collection in the sense of things I'm looking for, stuff I'm trying to replace, things that are actually legitimately on my wish list. That is what I'm going to be looking for today. I'm also not gonna be alone today. The Rickster's out here. I believe John's out here as well. They're actually already inside. I'm running maybe ever so slightly late. Took me a little bit longer to get out here than I had anticipated. But again, gonna look for things probably on my wish list today. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm in a little bit of a time crunch. I have to be out of here and in like an hour and a half, which for, for Second and Charles, an hour and a half is like five minutes of time. It's not really, it's not really enough time, but um, so we're gonna, we're gonna find some things. I'm gonna check off some, some stuff on my wish list. An hour and a half, I can make it happen. Look who I have found. Where's all the movies? What's... They're all in those mystery 50 count boxes. What, what's what's going all... what's going on here? I'm th I'm thinking the um a little different. I'm thinking the store app I use nicer. Or do they do that to your store well, too? This is nicer, but it definitely has more of a selection out. Oh, yeah, there's there's not much much going on here today. So um all right, well I'm I'm still thinking I can I can check off some stuff on my my wish list. Have you guys found anything yet? Uh, no. Yeah. What, what did you what did you find here? Legends of Star Wars. Okay, all right. X Men Legends. Two yeah. titles with legends the, in it. The problem is That's there's funny. like a lot of variety, and I appreciate the amount of variety. Mm -hmm. Like if you look at the shows behind you, there's a lot of cool stuff. The pricing is a little impressive. Oh, all right. So my back hurts. <laughs> well, people were actually, I think, giving you suggestions. In the, in, um, the in the Pam's, yeah, go check out the Pam's video. Oh my gosh. And they were giving you suggestions on how to fix your back. There you go, so. Kyra. All right, well, let's, let's see what we can find. Fingers crossed, power of positivity. I'm gonna find something good. There's a whole boatload of Criterions over here, which is pretty awesome to see. I, th I think I actually already have what? maybe most. Uh, no, nothing, go, go away. There's, there's a whole boatload of Criterions and Steelbooks over here, so. <laughs> so now, see, now the Rickster's coming over. See Criterions? Ooh, yeah, I, I know. They're all like like $20 a piece-ish, $25. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Eesh. not, not. I mean, not terrible. And again, a whole bunch of Steelbooks, of Steelbooks here. Books, Noah, Godzilla, Star Wars, Planet of the A's. Born identity, yeah. So, all right, some interesting things. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch down here as well. I don't know. I'm not like a, I'm not necessarily a steelbook junkie. Oh, the the Star Treks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's oh. This, oh, it's for Discovery. I love Hans. Oh, how much are those? I don't know. Sixteen bucks. Well, that one's sixteen. That one's twenty. Not. That's not bad actually for, for Star Trek Discovery steelbooks. Kind of tempting, but again, I'm looking for more stuff on my, my wish list today. That's, that's my goal. And I gotta hurry. Oh, is that still? Like rare? It, it might be. Anyway, I've got to hurry up. So I'm starting things over here in the horror section and already finding some interesting stuff, but I don't know. Here's the um, the Vestron Video Collect Collector's Series release of Dementia 13, which is pretty awesome. I I mean, I have the movie on DVD. I don't think I have the director's cut, though. That's pretty awesome. What are they asking on? The, uh, Rolling we're off to a great start. What are they asking on this? Oh, it's only, I mean, $14, not... Not terrible, I don't I don't know though. Here's people under the stairs, which is pretty awesome. The error release. It's a region B release though for, for eighteen dollars. I don't I found something kind oh, of no, cool. I'm trying trying to trying to be good. The, oh I wow. This was the FYE exclusive. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's the Blu -ray. It's oh, it's, the, oh it's oh it's Blu-ray, not DVD? Yeah. Oh wow. Holy crap, why is there four it's discs? The, um, the feature film on Blu-ray and DVD and then bonus disc. Huh, what are they asking on that? Fifteen fifteen nights. All right. A cool find, but you have to get up. Not for free. Yeah, I. I have it on steelbook. I think, yeah, so. yeah, I, I, I agree. All right, so I've been going through my wish list and uh, not really finding much, unfortunately. It's kind, it is kind of slim pickets. I mean, they do have a lot of interesting things, but I don't know. I get it is, it is a little sort of kind of slim pickings, and uh, again, I'm not I'm not finding much off my wish list. However, I am finding this DC Legends of the Tomorrow, the complete fifth season. I need seasons. Four, five, and six for my collection. I don't have five yet. They're only asking four dollars and ninety-five cents on this, so I am definitely picking that out. They also had seasons one and three, but again, I don't, I don't need those. I'm gonna pass. 
I have not seen a single episode now. Have you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is, it good? Is it good? I'm buying season one of Blu-ray. Oh, well, there, it's good. Well, there you go. So, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't watched it yet. I'm just trying to get all the DC and, and all the Marvel stuff. I don't, I don't have this one yet. So, all right. That's one thing checked off. Let's see if we can find some more. I should also say, it's not that I'm just not finding things I need. It's that when I do find stuff I need, I'm, I'm having issues like this. Demolition Man, which, of course, I already own. But I have it in a multi-feature set that I'm... I'm trying to split up, so I would totally pick up the uh, the Demolition Man DVD. I'd, I'd rather have the Blu-ray, but I would definitely pick up the DVD. But the discs are, I mean, look look at that. I am, that, that, that's how both the discs look. They're all scratched and nicked up and, and whatnot, and I'm clearly passing on these. Only asking $4.70. Yeah, for four for four seventy, I'd probably pick these up to split up my multi-feature set. But um, again, not in that condition. So the Rickster just called me over to say he found something interesting. Vice Academy 3. I had no idea they made three of these movies. Apparently they made like six or, or possibly more of these films. I had the first two in my collection. I did not have this one. Now that I've actually ever watched these movies, I have no idea if they're any good. I mean, they must be good. They made six of them at least. Sure. They, they, must be fan they must be fantastic yeah, non-Police Academy ripoff movies. I don't know. Should I be picking this up? They're only asking $4.50. I know. We looked up to see what it goes for. Saying, if he doesn't pick it up, I'll you're, be you're, you're really getting it. Because they... they it goes for, what'd you say? It okay, all gets good at four. Hey, apparently um, Police Academy 4 got voted as one of like, the worst films ever. Which one's the fourth one? Uh, that's the fourth one's one with, um, David with David Spade. It's so good. It's, oh, it's so good. See, five has a soft that's spot in my heart because I used to watch it on Prism all the time. Not only does the fourth, the fourth movie have um, David Spade, but it also has uh, Bones Brigade in it because they do a lot of skateboarding. Yeah. It's so, like Tony Hawk's in the movie yep, and stuff. Yeah. I think, I think that's probably the weakest of them. <sighs> Come on, I love Police Academy 4. It's got David Spade. Do we need to say more? It was like David Spade's like first like major movie. Anyway, it's got David Spade. It's a good movie. I've never seen these. Yeah, I'm thinking for, but since it is kind of rare, it is obscure, I think it's out of print. I'm thinking for um, for $4.50, I'm going to pick it up. Again, I haven't actually watched the movies yet. I have the first two. I guess I'm going to have to get around to actually watching them now. Here's a copy of Into the Wild on Blu-ray, which I need because I only have this on HD DVD, but I don't know. They're asking $9 for this, which I mean... I just, I feel like it, I don't know. See, if I pay, if I pay $9 for it, I'm going to find it for like five or less at Jake's Flea Market or yeah, something like that. Yeah, you would have found it today. I would have found it what? Today, if you were there. I would have found it at Jake's today if it wasn't raining. Yeah, probably. So I'm, I'm going to find I can't, I just, it in the wild. I just, I just can't, I just can't do it. I, I can't pay, I can't pay $9 for something I'm probably going to find for cheaper somewhere down the line. Plus, again, I already have it. I have it on, I actually have it on DVD and HD DVD in my collection. I just need that to replace both of those. So I don't know. For right now, Wait. I'm going to. Pass. They have Jojo Rabbit on 4K. 4K? Sweet, I've been looking for that. Did you need that? Yeah, sure. Again, a copy of something I need, but it's not in very good condition. Here's an over the top, and they're asking six dollars for this. It's, it's something else I have in a multi-feature set that I'd be getting just to split up, but the disc is just it's not looking pretty at all. Look, look at that. Why do they even take stuff like that in? I honestly don't I don't get it. I feel like this place should have higher standards, right? They should they should check discs. You gotta find a copy of it on Blu-ray. That'd be awesome. I could find a copy on Blu-ray. But um, anyway, whatever. For six bucks, I would have bought it on DVD just to split up my set. But again, scratch discs. Story of my life today. So I'm I'm passing. All right, this is much better. Brand new factory sealed the Rachel Papers. Not exactly the greatest movie ever made. Was this from 19, 1989? I've seen it a couple times. It's it's okay. It actually, it's a pretty awesome cast. I have it in a multi-feature set. I need this, again, to split up a set. They're only asking $4.90. So since it is brand new factory sealed, I am definitely picking that up. So, all right. Excuse me, sir. Everything's like, coming up Millhouse. I'm finding stuff. Not... What'd you say? Could you not? You want to you you go? Wow. Wow. All right. So I'm starting to get a little low on time now. I have to be out of here within the next, like, half hour or so. So... I, I want to go through the movies more. I want to see if there's more stuff I can find. I, I've been going through my, I have my wish list on my phone. I've been going through it, just going like through aisle and aisle and aisle, just looking for, for stuff I possibly need. But again, I either haven't been finding it or if I have found it, it's been scratched. So I'm just going to hold off on the, the movies right now. I've, I'm sure there's more stuff over there I need, but I want to go through all the CDs now because who knows, maybe some good punk, maybe some good ska. John, if you find any good punk or good ska, let me know. Where's all the, where's all the audiobooks? All right, so I asked about audiobooks, and uh, they're actually not up front with the CDs. They have them back here, kind of in the very back of the store. They were saying they just don't really sell. I guess I can understand that, but I'm going to go through all them because I have a trip to uh, to Florida coming up soon. In fact, I have a couple trips to Florida coming up over the summer. I need 
I need more audiobooks. Now, whether or not there's actually anything I need here, I don't know. Looking for some good biographies, actually read by the by the author. Who who knows? But I'm I'm digging. Well, I'll give them this. They do actually have a lot of audiobooks here, just nothing I really need. There were a couple things I was tempted by, but at the prices, I just, I figured I'm not going to do it. Not that they were priced badly. It's just, there, some audiobooks, it's like if they're a dollar or two and I find them out and about, I'll be like, eh, whatever, it's a buck or two, I'll pick them up. But otherwise, it's like, I don't really know if I'm going to want them. So I'm just going to wait till I find them for cheaper. So all right, audiobooks are a, are a bust. Do I still want to go through the CDs? I I don't know. Do I want to go through the, the movies some more? I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I got to have like 15 minutes left. So I need to, I need to hurry it up. All right, I'm about to call it quits. I'm not really having much luck. Plus, I have to get out of here anyway. But I mean, I'm, I'm finding things like this. Daryl, I actually need this. I only have this on VHS in my collection. It's a title I just, I never come across out in the wild. They're only asking $6 for this. $5.65. That is awesome. But the disc, I mean, what, like, what is that? That is disc rot, right? That is not going to play. That is, an, I don't, I don't know what that is. That is looking terrible. That is looking awful. And um, I'm going to be passing on on Daryl, which is a shame because for a second I got really excited when I saw that. That's pretty much how it's been going the entire time I've been here. But like I said, um, my time is actually running up. Uh, so or running out or what my time is up. I've got to get out of here. All right. So just check the time. I have one minute until I have to get out of here. And I'm going to take this as a sign. I'm, I'm going to leave on a good note. I just found something I actually do need. This is Ultimate Muscles. I was actually looking for a copy of this for a while. They, ha they had a copy of this at, at FYE a long time ago, and I got a bunch of flack for not picking it up. Apparently this is, I guess, I don't know if it's out of print or somewhat rarer or something like that. Um, for some reason, I should have picked this up and I, I kind of regretted not buying this when I saw this um, like months and months and months ago, maybe even like over a year ago when I saw this. I went back to the FYE. It was it was not there. They were they were sold out. It was it was bought up. So now they have it here for only um five dollars in minty condition. I'm gonna pick that up. And again, end on a high note. I've gotta go though. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for a second in Charles the Rickster. Bye. Check down below for links to Rick's channel. What, what's your channel? Down to Movie. I'll put a, I'll put a link down below. You're Look at it. You're finding good stuff. So you're only finding music here you're picking up. I should have I should have gone through the CDs better, but I, I got it. I've been the CDs for 20 whole seconds. But I've got to, I've got to get out of here. So, all right. So, Rickster, check down below for, for his link. RJ's over here rocking out on his ukulele. And um, John's over here rocking out. All right, Rain and Blood and go. Slayer. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, so where can people find you? Sing it, sing it. Where can people find you? Some bubbles on Instagram. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is going to do it. So I'm happy. I found some interesting things, a, cu a couple interesting things. Again, I'm picking up the uh, DC Le Legends of the Tomorrow, Season 5, Vice Academy 3, The Rachel Papers, and um, Ultimate Muscles. So, if I, ooh, that's pretty sweet. Slapping the bass. <laughs> that's a, a five-string fratless bass. You saw our song, so we rock your face. Anyway, all right. So, <laughs> some Adam and Adam has packets for you guys. Great band. Anyway, I'm out of here. So, thank you guys so much for checking this video out. Sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also, check down below. I'm still looking. Also, check down below for a link to uh, Retro Rest Stop, my other channel for, for daily adventures. And I will see you guys in the next video. And again, check down below for links to down to movie and some of the bolts. I will put links to them as well. All right. Like I said, I am in a rush. I got to get out of here. All right. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Bye.